In this video, we will be using ideal gas law to calculate mole percent. So we have air stream, which is 21 mole percent oxygen and 79 percent nitrogen flowing at a rate of 25 kilograms per hour is mixed with a stream of pure CO2. Now CO2 enters the mixer at a rate of 30 meter cube per hour at 250 degrees Celsius and three bar. We want to find the mole percent of CO2 in the product stream. So the first thing we need to know is what is the molar mass of air? So molar mass of air because this is a mixture, 21 mole percent oxygen and 79% nitrogen. So we have 0.21 oxygen. The molecular weight for oxygen is 32 grams of oxygen per mole. Plus we have 0.79 nitrogen times the molecular weight for nitrogen, which is 28.02 grams of nitrogen per mole. Now this would give us 28.86 gram per mole, essentially the molecular weight. Next, we need to calculate the molar mass of air. So N air. So we have 25 kilograms per hour. So 25 kilograms of air per hour. And now we know that 28.86, we could say kilograms of air per kilomole. That's the equivalence. So this right here is 28.86 grams per mole, which is the same as 28.86 kilograms per kilomole. Now this right here would give us 0 0.8663 kilomole per hour we will be needing to use this piece of information at the end of the problem. Next, we need to use our CO2 information. They gave us 250 degrees Celsius and three bars, and they gave us 30 meter cubed per hour. This is where we will have to use the ideal gas law. We are going to assume that this part right here is ideal. So we will have PV is equal to NRT, so we could say that N is equal to PV divided by RT. So pressure was three bars. The volumetric flow rate was 30 meter cubed per hour. We will divide by R, which we could say is 8.314 meters cubed times kilopascals divided by kilomoles times K times temperature. So we have 250 degrees Celsius, but we want Kelvin. So we can say 273.15 plus 250, and we would get Kelvin. Now let's check our units. So this right here is bar, but we have KPA for our constant. So we need to change bar into KPA. So we could say multiply. Um, the conversion is one bar is equal to 100 kPa. Now let's check our units. So bar cancels, we have kPa. So we have kPa meter cubed, which would cancel, cancel. And we have K, which cancels. And so this right here would give us kilomoles over hour, because this is essentially one over hour, and this is essentially one over kilomoles. So it's gonna flip. And when we use a calculator for this, we would get 2.069 kilomoles of CO2 per hour. And now we're very close to getting the final answer, the percent. So we want to know the mole percent of CO2. So why CO2? We want it in a percent. And so this is going to equal. So this component right here is for CO2, 2.069 kilomoles of CO2 per hour. This will be divided by air and CO2. So 2.069 kilomoles of CO2 per hour plus the component of air, which was 0 0.8663 kilomoles of air per hour, close parentheses, 
times 100%, so our answer would be in a percent form. Now using a calculator, we would get 70.49% as our final answer, and that's all we need to do for this problem.